Howdy, my name is Brian Foley. I'm the managing partner at Houston Criminal Defense Attorneys PLLC. Uh, we're going to be talking about Texas Code of Criminal Procedure 1.052 today. It is uh, another part of the Code of Criminal Procedure. It's pretty basic. Today's going to go very quickly. Um, this is the part that says you have to sign your pleadings, meaning the documents that you submit to the court. That's what a pleading is. You have to sign it as an attorney. And there's a, a provision in here that says anyone who makes a statement in a pleading uh, that the attorney or the defendant knows to be groundless and false to obtain a delay of the trial of the cause or for the purpose of harassment shall be held guilty of contempt. And so it basically tells the judge that you can fine or hold in jail uh, an attorney or the defendant if they knowingly make a false statement. Um, groundless is actually defined in this statute. It says it means without basis in law or fact and not warranted by a good faith argument for extension, modification, or reversal of existing law. And that is something that's kind of interesting there. It points out it, you can make an argument as an attorney that says, well, the law says this. This is what the law said. It says I lose, basically. But it should be changed. And uh, that's a valid, it's not a lie to, to suggest that the law should be changed. You just kind of have to admit it up front. Uh, and so groundless uh, is, is defined that way so that lawyers can still make that argument to change the law. A lot of good uh, things have come from that. So it's a good thing to have within the law. And then another section here, noteworthy, it says that a not guilty plea doesn't make you, uh, isn't groundless. Even if you know you're going to plead guilty eventually, you're still trying to kind of haggle out the, the, the deals with the prosecutor, something like that. You can plead officially not guilty and it's not groundless according to the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. And that's also a very good thing. So hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief update and we'll see you next time.